the next step is we're going to add the color input so we can change the font color of the text block we just created. So inside your block template, we're going to create another input type. So open curly bracket, close curly bracket, and the type. will be color the ID is going to be we'll call it font color by default we'll we'll give it a hex by default Give it a default hex color of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which is black. And we will set the label to font color. Now, to put this in action, we're going to give it some inline CSS styling. So inside the paragraph tag, put in style equals color to output an input type that goes in between two curly brackets. Inside that, we will be block dot settings dot font color. Hit save. Then we go over to our page. We'll hit refresh to update our admin panel here. Click on block template. We still have our two text blocks that we created. And now we have the option to change the font color. So if we click on this, you'll get the color swatch. And now we can change our font color to anything we'd like. The final step in our tutorial is to use the range input to change the font size. So we go back to our custom section in the code editor and we're going to add one more input. Open curly bracket and close that curly bracket. Inside, we are going to have the type. And we're going to call it range. The ID, we are going to call it font size. Now, with range, it has a few more different options that we need to add here. The first one is min, which is for the minimum value. And for this, we're going to set it to 12. And it has max for the maximum value. We set it at 20. Next, it has the step option. So it's a value that increases or decreases. In this case, we'll set it to 1. The unit type that is being displayed, we will call it px for pixel and the default we're going to set it to let's say 14 and finally we set the label and we will call this font size 
Once that is done, we'll click on save, no errors. And then we're going to add it to our paragraph tag right after the font color. We're going to call it font size and open double curly bracket, close double curly bracket. Inside, we're going to call it block.settings.font size. And just outside the closing curly brackets, we're going to add px for pixel. And then click save. Now we go to our custom page, click refresh. We open our block template, and here are the two text blocks that we created previously. And now we have the option for font size. So if I were to drag this, we just increase the font size, and as you can see, it goes up to 20. And for our second text block, we'll shrink the size to 12, and there you go. Once that is done, we hit save. And that is the basics of how blocks work in Shopify. Now this example only covers three different types of input settings, but there are a lot more to choose from depending on what you need. So there are seven types of basic input settings, and there are 12 types of specialized input settings that you can use. So if you have any questions or would like to see examples of other input settings, please leave a comment below. I'd be happy to help out any way I can. Please like and subscribe. This is Brian from Call Me Brain. Thanks for watching.